This is a video response to a forum question. I'm going to be setting up a specific template here that was specified. I have the Epson 3800 selected. I've chosen a paper size of 5 by 14 which gives us this printable area here. And on the prints tab I've selected a 0 0.07 first border, 0 0.04 second border and I just made them different colors so we can see them but the color doesn't matter. They're going to be B plus borders, so they'll be added around in addition to the size of our prints. And on the custom tab here, I've entered 4.4 by 6.4 is the size. Crop turned on. So we have our size set up. And I'm in IntelliCenter placement mode here because that almost gives us what we want already. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll add two templates because we're going to be creating a layout we're going to use in the future. So <clears throat> I add two templates and as you can see they're set up with equal spacing on the top, middle, and bottom which is not quite what we want because we're going to be folding this sheet so we want double the spacing in the middle so that we end up with equal spacing after we fold it. So to do that we'll just double click here or you can click here, edit page and we get into the page editor and we can see that the top margin is 0.26 and we want 0.19 so with this top print selected I'll just click here and enter 0.19 and I'll click on the bottom print and we'll see the bottom border here between the bottom of the print and the bottom of the page is 0.26 I'll change that also 0.19 so now we have a 0.19 between the bottom edge and the bottom and the top edge and the top and the way that we know we have 0.38 in here is if you select the top print you'll see that this edge is 7.19 inches from the top of the page or 7.19 inches from the bottom of the page and if we select this one the top is 7.19 inches from the top of the page so we have what we want now we have a 0.19 border all the way around and a 0.38 in the center and I'll just click done and there's our setup now we can save this setup as uh, I just call it 1919 and I'm going to save it as a layout and this, the way that I'm showing you to do this works in any version of QImage. There's an easier way to do it in the latest version, but I'll just do it the, the old way. Save that. And now if I just remove everything and start over, when I open this layout, and again, there's an easier way to do it in the latest version, but I'm going to show you the old way to do it, which would be to go to the custom here, choose a layout, click OK, and now <clears throat> our 1919 is right here. Click open, and I get my layout, and now whatever whatever prints I add here will go into my layout. And then I can print that and have my folded 5x7. So, thanks for watching.